It's the Daily Doug. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. It's a Monday, it's the start of a new week, and we're doing something interesting and new for today's Metal Monday. We're dipping our toes into some video game music, y'all, and I'm excited. I'm also a little bit intimidated. Uh, video game music is something I know absolutely nothing about, y'all. Not only do I not know anything about the music, I don't know anything about the games. I am not a gamer, <laughs> my friends. Uh, most often here on The Daily Doug, I have been getting to music by bands that I've at least heard of, right? Think uh, uh, like Jethro Tull. Oh, I've heard of them. Oh, that's how Thick as a Brick actually sounds. Or uh, think about the band Yes. I'm like, ah, yes, I've heard of that band. But uh, what is this topographic ocean that you speak of? And please tell me it's tales, right? That's where I've been coming from. I've heard of these people. I've heard of these bands, but I don't know their repertoire. In this instance, I don't know either. And so I'm really flying blind here. Uh, but we've got a lot of people that are video gamers uh, and love video game music that have been asking us to get to some uh, highlights of this genre. And so, y'all, today we are going to be taking a look at the song Virgil's Theme from Devil May Cry 5. And I'm happy that you're here. We're going to take a look and see. So, um, you know, <clears throat> I've never had a game system. Well, I take that back. I've never had a PlayStation I've never had an Xbox as a kid. I had a Nintendo, but that's been years, right? That Those were the big cartridges that you blow in to try to get it to, to go. I did have a Wii console for a while, and y'all, I got pretty darn good at uh, Wii Bowling, a little bit of Wii Golf, uh, Mario Kart especially. But games like this, these intense, huge uh, constructs of a world in which these characters can um, can act and interact with each other and all of that stuff is something that I'm uh, outside the loop on, y'all. So uh, I am interested to take a look at this. The game is called Devil May Cry 5. The series was first released all the way back in 2001. Uh, it is an action-adventure game that centers on Dante, who is a demon hunter, and his efforts to try and repeal the demon invasions. Uh, on Earth. The series takes some inspiration from uh, Dante's Divine Comedy, and the character of Virgil, this is Virgil's theme, is introduced, I believe, in Devil May Cry 3. And uh, this in this newest uh, edition of the game, Devil May Cry 5, um, that was released in 2019, and that's where the song is from. So the theme itself is called Bury the Light, and it's described as Virgil's battle theme from this edition of Devil May Cry. The song is composed by Casey Edwards, and it's performed by Casey's with vocals from Victor Borba and drums by Anoop Sastry. So y'all, this is described to me as a true metal song. So we're going to hear some metal tunes here today on Metal Monday, but it's one that I don't know about at all. So let's take a look and see what's going on with Barry the Light, Virgil's theme, from Devil May Cry 5. Off we go. That is an epic soundscape. Man. And then a solo violin. Trying to combat all of that sound. Immortal Temptation takes over my mind. Okay. So he's being tempted. Ooh. 
major for a second. This is huge, y'all. this opening verse and then not much for a while. Nice. I am the storm that is approaching, provoking black clouds of isolation. Cool. That's flat six, the B flat. Four, five, six. My family crest is a demon of death. Lovely. Wow. D minor. To the F chord. That's a C. And that's G major, a major four chord. Cool. on the major chord at the end of the phrase and it goes back into parallel minor. It's really bass heavy. But so far I don't mind. Compound meter? Duh, duh. Does this play? Y'all that play this game, is this song going on while you're playing the game? It's your own soundtrack. And if you spend a lot of time playing the game, I'm sure that these songs become very well known. That happened before. down to C, major chord, C down to G, another fourth, also a major chord. G then down to D, it's descending force that they set up. D goes up to F, F down to C, down a fourth, C down to G, down a fourth, and then G down to D, down a fourth. Reminds me a bit of Tom Morello's playing. Real hard driving four. Dark summon from the ashes of the 
Puppet Master congregates all the masses. That was flat two to one. Really cool. Flat six. It was flat seven, but minor. That was cool. Dim heart, heal or destroy. Changes keys. But boy, that's that's got some weight to it, y'all. Huge. And this back at the end, we're almost done. solo violin ever come back? No, it won't. Friends, I'm duly impressed by that. That's as metal as anything I've heard in a while. Really, really um, overpowering and just huge in its sound. Really almost oppressive. And it sound really bass heavy, but I loved having those those guitar, guitar solos in there. All of those uh, synth and electronic sounds that make up the overall soundscape of the piece. Uh, speaking as a keyboard player, it would have been fun to have some more keys in there. But I, I'm uh, really, really impressed with that. The song is called Bury the Light. And so I was trying to figure out, without really, you know, much... Um, read in into the actual character i i i shied away from really diving in y'all i stopped myself for the sake of time <laughs> more than anything from diving in just headlong into the character into the game's backstory because there's a lot of reading to do this is an immense uh world that's been created for the gameplay that involves these these characters uh but i think the character is seeking to uh, suppress his humanity. Uh, we talk at the beginning. Where's the first verse? It's up here. Immortal temptation takes over my mind. Condemned, falling weak on my knees. Summon the strength of mayhem. I am the storm that is uh, approaching, provoking black clouds and isolation. I am the reclaimer of my name, born in flames. I have been blessed. My family crest is a demon of death. So he's got... 
like a human side, I think, and he's got kind of a demon side or supernatural side, and he is uh, thinking of one of those as a sign of strength and one of those as a sign of weakness, and so he's trying to suppress the humanity, which I believe he is um, interpreting as his major weakness. And I think I'm going to leave it there because other than that, it'll be conjecture, y'all. Quite a bit of conjecture. So how did I do? Um, am I on the right track? Uh, did I get anything that I have said <laughs> for this song and this game and this character that uh, are uh, inaccurate? I am sure y'all will let me know in the comments. But the thing that I am interested in here is just getting to know a little bit more of uh, gaming in general. Where uh, where do I go next? Uh, what game? Uh, what song? What character uh, deserves uh, to be heard here on the channel? I am interested, quite interested, in your, in your comments and in uh, your reactions here because it's going to really drive where we go next, I think, because this is just our first, I think, of many uh, attempts to get to know a little bit of the world of video game music. And in this instance, it was a pretty heavy, heavy metal piece called Virgil's Theme. And uh, the, the, the secondary name of it is Bury the Light. So we'll see. Uh, maybe in Devil May Cry 6, we'll see if he was actually able to, dare to uh, bury the light or not. But uh, that'll be for another time, y'all. This was really fascinating for me, and it'll be the first of many, I think. I think. So uh, thanks for being with me today, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.